Well, speaking of incredible. Yes. Let me tell you he's incredible on commentary. Who? Don Callis. <sighs> Don Callis is really good on Bro, he on, saved this show. I shouldn't say he saved the show because it was a good show, show. But, but he yeah. saved commentary because of all the shows to bring back Matt Stryker, they chose this show, this paper he doesn't watch. He's so much better than Josh, though. I mean, it's like he's so is like, he? so much. I, wa- I I watched that month when when he was when he missed a taping and they had all this stuff with Josh, and I couldn't wait for Matt Stryker to come back because wow. he's so. I thought Stryker was good. The he whole was show. he was less irritating than usual on the show. I, I I wasn't even irritated by him at all, other than he made a comment in the Omega match about all the, there's only like a certain number of people who've beaten like Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan. And the worst part is, is that all of a sudden, like I came up with like four more names, like without even thinking. So it's like, I don't know why you did this because it's like, you know, like Paul White and, and Luger and, and Sting, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's, it's. It's just too many, you, you you know, if you actually thought about it, it it's, I don't know. It's just like one of those things where he'll he'll do that, that um, what's it called? The history stuff. And I think, you know, doing history in wrestling is cool, but it's got to be like real history. And then when you're botching the history, especially like with um, Bill Goldberg was there, it was another one. It's like, it's like, like there's names that everybody knows. You know what I mean? Like, like everybody knows that, that um, like Sting, St- Sting beating Hulk Hogan and Sting beating Ric Flair. I mean, Sting and, and Hulk Hogan was like a giant flop of a match, but it was a famous match. And Sting beat Ric Flair a, a, a million times. And it's like, you don't even have to think when you go like the only people who ever beaten uh, Hulk Hogan, and Ric Flair, and he doesn't mention Sting. That's like, come on. Well, anyway, uh, Callis was awesome on commentary. Kenny Omega, Sammy Callahan, no DQ, and it was a hardcore match. They brought in the pizza cutter early. Omega Blood. is bleeding all over the place. Yep. And then he ends up sending Callahan into a chair and then gouges him with a fork. So now Callahan's bleeding everywhere. And we got a pile driver off the apron through a table by Callahan, which was... They start brawling in the apron, and there's a table there. I just knew this was going to end in a power bomb. I don't even know why. Maybe because that's what they did, one of the angles they did setting this up, I think. But they did this power bomb through the table, and it was just... It looked so awesome. And then... Oh, the table broke, and so, like, that was like the... That table break was really, really cool, yeah. But, man, I just, like... Um, these pile drivers through a table... <laughs> I hope that... Th- I don't know. It's like, it's like, I'm just, it's like if, if, if Kenny Omega wasn't like hurting so bad, it'd be one thing, but he is, and he's still doing, like, I know he's going to do it because that's just him. You know, he's going to be like, whatever it is, he's going to go out there and try to provide the best match that he possibly can in the, you know, in every unique aspect of a match. Um, and that's, that's just how he's going to be. But it's just like, man, you know, like, pile drivers through t- there's so many pile drivers in this match weren't there like four or five of them well there were a bunch of pile drivers including uh omega throwing powder in callahan's face so callahan pile drives the referee so yeah, the referee right, is yeah, out and then uh omega uh hits he, a pile he, driver on callahan so he hits him with his own move but there's no referee another referee runs in and uh he gets beat up by kenny omega good brothers try to interfere Eddie Edwards and Chris Saban take them out, so no interference. Callahan gets thumbtacks, and we do a bunch of spots, including the thumbtacks are on the ground, and Omega kneels to the thumbtacks, so there's all these thumbtacks stuck to his knee pad. Then he does the V-trigger with a thumbtack-covered knee pad. I think and- that, that that's like kind of kind of really smart. You know what I mean? Because I, I'm sure that's been done before, but I can't recall it being done like on a, on a major pay per view show. It's smart, but when you think about it, if the thumbtacks are stuck to your knee pad, then when you hit the guy with the knee, the thumbtacks actually go into your own knee, not the guy's face. Um. Yes. I, well. Yeah. I know. But we pretend because it's wrestling. Yeah. So finally, it's a one winged angel into the thumbtacks, which in fact, the dude went into the thumbtacks, which went into his back. That was. Yeah. You don't have to think about that one. And uh, he pinned him. And uh, Don Callis screams, he's dead! And I was like, well, it is a one-winged angel and a thumbtack. So if there ever was a move where a guy would be dead in pro wrestling and storyline, that'd be one of them. So he's done. 
And then Anderson, Gallows, Callas, Omega, they're all celebrating. The lights go out. And who of all people should make their big debut here but Jay White? Mm-hmm. And there was a snafu, and the show went off the air early. No, 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 no. I was told that that's, it, went, it went off exactly as planned. Well, we all know what happened anyway then. Finn Juice hit the ring, and Jay White laid him out. And apparently, I guess we can watch that on TV this coming week. But Right. It's supposed to be, I don't know if it's on, it, it's part of the deal for, you know, getting the New Japan talent. Because it's the, you know, Jay White and um, Finley is the co-main event for the Los Angeles New Japan show. So I'm sure that we'll see this on New Japan World and perhaps, you know, the part of the deal again to get, you know, some of these guys on the show and, and uh, you know, especially Jay White and everything is... Um, you know, that, that they get to do the angle, you know, that, that they get to shoot that angle for their own show. So that's going to happen. So, I mean, it certainly would appear that there's a Kenny Omega J white match coming somewhere in impact, which, um, you know, perhaps, perhaps, um, at bound for glory. And that's a really interesting match because they're very different styles, but they're both so awesome. But but they're both heels. You know the uh, this company is a different company than the uh, TNA of two thousand four two thousand five and everything it's like different that. Different company from Impact from eighteen months ago too. Yes, but let me tell you something. People still remember Impact. So if you're going to do a thing like this at the end of the show, I think you need to have all three announcers screaming, "We've got to go!" And then the guy runs out as the show goes off the air. Because the way they shot it, oh, like, yeah, it I got like it, so much feedback from people going, they fucked up. How come the show went off? We yeah, didn't see yeah, it. Yeah, it. It didn't yeah. come across like a cliffhanger. It no. came across as a production faux pas. Absolutely. Which you do not want if you're the former TNA. I don't, th- okay. I don't think you ever want that. I mean, like. No, but I there's a way to do it where, like, we, we, got, we got three seconds left, and all of a sudden you see the guy running, and you know, like, they were out of time. It was the top of the hour. Yeah. I, I feel like there's a way to do it where there's you feel ten, like there's ten or fifteen ways to do it. But yeah, this was not it. This was not this was not the one. Yeah. No, yeah, you could go like, oh my god, we're we're satellite time is out. Yeah, anything. Yeah, and then like you do it that way. Satellite time's out. Tune in um, Thursday night. You know, like tune in Thursday night, and we'll get you'll get to see this, and you open Thursday night with this clip. Absolutely, tell people that. Yes. Rather than what they did, because yeah, you're right. I mean, like when I watched it, not knowing that, I just thought like, oh god, you know, right in the middle of the angle, they go off the air. Did, did somebody go long in there in, in something? But uh, yeah, so it's it's there to 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 uh, you know build up the never open weight title match with Finley. That was a hell of a main event, though. For what it was, I mean, it's different from an you know it's it's completely different from almost any Kenny Omega match. What is different from any Kenny Omega match I've ever well, seen? Well, I mean, it was it was still absolutely a Kenny Omega match. I mean, you could see how the match was put together. You could see the big spots. You could see the create uh, the creative ways to go into the V trigger and uh, and the one wing angle angel on and the, the tax and the usage you, 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 of the pile drivers from the angles and the guy's finish. There was a lot of there was a lot of really good stuff in this match. The, the you can't escape where he does the moon salt with the garbage can on the guy's ankle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it was like a lot of um, you know interesting stuff there. Yeah, I thought the match. I thought that the 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 opener and I thought that the of the matches that I saw, which was most of the show, I thought the opener and the last match were really 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 good. And I mean, the women's match was good too. But I thought those were the two best. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.